All right, cut. And we back. And we back. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I have fun. I, that, yo, that one right there was funny. I was cracking up. Bet. Uh all right. So what we going what we gonna do? We gonna do big crit mm-hmm. back here. Oh yeah, let me let me let me let me add this intro in here because I don't like that way I don't have to edit it in there. Bet. The very what up, everybody? What's up? It's the core room. Back at it with another one of these things. You know what I'm saying? Again. Hey, the crew is all together again. This is Big Wall, aka Heisenberg. Hey, yep. AKA Legit 6 3. <laughs> Dunking on y'all, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy Trem, the yes, producer sir. of the track you just heard on the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just team though. We get we, we getting it in today. So shout out to everybody liking, subscribing to all we do. You know what I'm saying? Buying merch. Uh everybody out there who needs a plug in this podcast thing, we got you. We got a producer here. We got a person who does you know artwork if y'all need some some type of you know promotion on what y'all do hit us up man hit us up like i said you know we we will promote anything you got going on if you if listen if you do t-shirts and you want to start t-shirts walt got you man he'll show you how to do this if you need promotion on music hit up hit us up we got trim a producer yeah, yeah. man he done, he done put out an album he done put out an ep he done put out singles. He in this thing. So if you if we we know we know music. So you know if if you if you want to be promoted fifty dollars, that's all you need. Fifty dollars. Slide us that thing and we got you. It's not much. It ain't much, bro. Like you you listen, y'all spending that on some of you guys out there spending that on, on Instagram models. Mm. Never mind, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm keeping the two real, right? My bad, my bad. So yeah, just hit us up if you if you need if you need something, we got you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we gonna get back to another one of these things, man. We we uh, we just finished doing light skin t- Keisha's uh, reaction video, and now we are gonna do one of my favorite artists, the legendary Big Crit. Yes, sir. Big Crit been in this thing for a long time. Yeah, he been rapping Mississippi for a long time. Mm-hmm. He been putting it down. Indeed, I'm very proud of Big Crit, uh, of, of keeping keeping his dignity to keeping the actually caring about the craft. Yes. Yeah, a lot of y'all don't appreciate Big Crit now, but y'all will mm. one day. I appreciate him now. Definitely. Um, you know, so now he got he got his album's out now. What is the name of the album? Let me, let me get the name of that album real quick. Yeah. Let me see. So I can make sure I, I get my home. Yeah, yeah, I definitely gotta check that out. That's on my on my uh to listen uh my list to listen. Uh. You put my homie stuff out there, man. Cause Crit, Crit, it, like I said, he you know what I love about Crit is that Crit is a survivor of the industry. A lot of y'all think y'all can come in here and y'all gonna blow up and y'all gonna do y'all thing, but you know, it's very difficult to stay relevant yeah, in all these easy. years. Right, and, and still keep your, your craft. Like, you know, a lot of y'all out here, you know, some of y'all artists been out here for a long time. Now y'all want to adjust to what's going on. You know, Crit, Crit didn't do that. Nope. Crit didn't do that. Crit, Crit, Crit kept it all the way solid his whole career. You know, I ain't going to say nothing like, you know, I ain't going to say talk about artists like Tank out here trying to sing, sound like he young. You know what I'm saying? You talking about that? You talking about the Tevin Campbell challenge? Man... <laughs> You know, just tank all around. Just want to. He just want to be. He want to be young. So like, just sing, dog. And yeah, he don't got that one hit though. Isn't that him? What hey, well, hey, yeah. When we, when yeah. We, but but that ain't that ain't him. That's him, but it ain't him. If that what makes you mean sense. It's, it's him, but it's not him. Why? That, that ain't that. that ain't tank. So tank, tank, tank. He's too old to come out with a with a new. That, Thank you for saying what I was trying to say. So wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, That's I'll be, be hearing y'all. I've gone to like a old, like a, 
like an older joint before, like an older right. joint. They be bumping that. I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that is not, you know, that's not, you know, getting a younger crowd. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, you keep on doing this over and over again. Like you know, what I'm saying, you know how that song hit, and you like, you know what? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. You can't. Before keep, you, you know, can't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, like before you know it, like you done, you done, you you one of them now. Yeah. You ain't rap. You know what I'm saying, you ain't rapping what you supposed to be rapping. You know, for the real R&B. But so you know, that's saying, me. He should, he, should, he should like age, you know, gracefully, and you know, like continue to grow well, his, his longevity lot wise, what, and like grow with his with his with his, with his age with his with his I, crowd. You know what though? I believe I, I do understand if you don't adapt, you die. True. I but believe it's, in that. It's how you is I guess it was guess it's like it's how you adapt. Exactly. It's how you do it. And to me, he doing he just doing too much. Mm. That's just from that's just personal for me. I mean listen I mean he, he I, I do consider him a you know a good artist, you know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't you know what I ain't gonna say. You know what I am gonna say. What? He ain't Brian McKnight. <laughs> oh, here we go. You got you about to say something about some Brian McKnight, yeah. Hey, all right, so I, listen, me and Trim had this conversation. Well, you a Brian McKnight fan? Uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you, like <laughs> Man, you don't be telling you don't tell you don't be telling your fiance coming back at one, man. You don't be singing it to him. She like Brian McKnight about me. There you go. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you think? <laughs> But I'm straight. Like, ah, he can okay. sing. Don't get me wrong. Dude right. Can sing. He can sing. Oh, right. I'll just particular. I'm not really. It ain't on my playlist. How about right. That? See How about that. I ain't got Trip. no fun on my playlist. <laughs> then, listen, bro. I, I'm not a Brian. Hey, Trump, you're a Brian McKnight fan. Um, he's not on my playlist, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I got some Brian McKnight albums, man, in the, in, the, in the collection. I mean, Brian McKnight. As an artist, he's pretty dope, man. I'm just gonna say he's pretty dope. He's as pretty an dope. As an artist, he's pretty dope. As an artist, he's pretty dope, he man. Got hits. He got hey, hits. Man. I mean, he's let's, he, like, let's, let's name him. Let's name him. Let's name him. Let's name him. What's um, the hits? What's the hits? I know we got like now. Still in love with you. How, how long he been in the game? He been in the game for a minute. Like so, all right, so all right, so I, I want to make sure we get that out there. How many hits he got? Let's, let's bring these hits out. Uh, um. Still in love with you. He's talking about when you know Eagles forget how to fly and, and violence turn uh and when it's 20 below in July and stuff like that and violence turn red, roses turn blue. Still in love with I'll be still in love with you. That's one hit. Um uh keep it on uh keep it on the down low. Um uh, back at one. Uh do I ever cross your mind? Uh shoot man. He get in the verses? He could get in the verses, man. He, 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 he could verses. get in the verses. All right, so, so I'm, I'm going to name some of he the could top get in the ones. Verses. I'm going to name some of these top ones, and I'm going to get into like what type of artist I think Brian McKnight is, okay? All right, go so ahead. We got Brian. Then we got Back at One. We got Love of My Life. These yep. are some of the top songs. We got on Anytime. Mm -hmm. um, the Only One for Me. Yep. After Anytime, I don't know none of these songs. So I'm, I'm, I'm just naming them. Uh, one Last Cry. Excuse me. Um, never, Never Felt This Way. I don't know if I heard I got here out of those, man. Some of the songs find, I got here out of those. Find myself, find myself and you. Got here out of those. Crazy love. Yeah, part of crazy love. Six eight twelve. Got here out of those. Still in love. Did, yeah, I, did I say still I, in love yeah. already? Okay. I don't know, but that's the one I was saying before. Still in love with you, yeah. Uh well, nobody, you know, nobody, you yep, know. I heard nobody, yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And then the title song's familiar. Okay, so I, I listen. I, I, and, and now here's the thing. I want to start. I want to start off by saying this before we get into this crit song, right? Mm -hmm. I think I I know that Brian McKnight has put a lot of work in, and he has a lot of fans, obviously, right? Yeah, of course. We wouldn't be talking talking about him if he did. Yep. I see Brian McKnight as like like the Tim Duncan of R and B. Oh, that is cold. Yeah, you. I mean, straight. You talking about? Hold up, hold up. That's <laughs> I really, I really rock with Tim Duncan. <laughs> now here's the thing. I'm, 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 right. So hold up. I, I rock with Tim Duncan too. But let me tell you why I say this. Why all right. So that? Tim Duncan. All right. So Tim Duncan. And Walt, you can relate to this, right? Tim Duncan is the type of player that nobody really mentions. 
but he's there though and, and like you know it, if you start you if you see his face see his face like oh yeah tim duncan but yeah he yeah, i don't know if he'll be on the anybody's list probably the best powerful right. right exactly <clears throat> but what happened well tell me what happens with tim duncan what what happens in the conversation with tell, tell me why people don't mention Tim Duncan as much? Oh, it's really because of numbers for real. But yeah. that's for real the reason why. As far as like, because as far as him compared to other power forwards, but I'm saying in in basketball, as far as cats that watch basketball, no ball. It's for all of them. He's in the he's in the next seventy five. Like, and it's, they right. just had that list come out on the all star. He was mm -hmm. in that, and I'm saying as far as like people know, like. Everyone know, like best power forwards to play. Right. They put KG there, Charles Barkley there, but everybody know what time it is with Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's better. Than him. Like, right. KG that, is the big one, but I still take Tim. Right. Listen, Tim Duncan, like, like, like Robert Knight. Robert Knight can sing, right? Yeah. Tim Duncan can play basketball. I feel like the reason why they don't mention Tim Duncan is because. He's not. He doesn't have a lot of style to him. Oh, okay. he he he, <laughs> no, no he got personality. That, right. He he don't. He ain't dunking like Jordan. He ain't. He he ain't got no crossover like AI. He ain't. He's he's just a. What, what they what's his nickname? Mister Fundamentals. Mister Fundamentals. Right. Meaning he he do he do what the position takes. Like he does what what whatever the position is. He's going to do what it takes to score something to score. But he doesn't have any. He doesn't any, have anything. No, any flair. Like I said, that's like he don't team, have that. That's a team player, man. That's I'm, all right, really, but that's like when he player. was, I'm saying he don't necessarily. When he was, he sacrificed his game. I'm just, I'm just want to say this right quick, as mm -hmm. far as like his game, because I'm mm -hmm. saying like when he was first got to the Spurs and David Robinson was the main one that was holding him down. When he got there, he was the best player on the team. And, when, and he got that right. he was leading the team in scoring. He's had seasons early on when he was at the 25. Mm -hmm. Now, he ain't, he ain't, uh, I'm trying to think of like whose game that he plays to, but it's, I'm not going to front. Like, he would be KG. Class, like, he would be able to get tips. But I'm saying he can score, like, at will. That's what I'm exactly. saying. His ability to, yeah. <clears throat> That's what, listen, Brian McKnight has great albums. He, he, I'm sure he has awards, but he don't have that thing that mentions him. If we, if we listen to top five R and B, like or, or like a top fifty R and B, he ain't coming up. Top fifty? Yeah, no, no, top fifty. I don't think he would be I mean, up in. You're not gonna put him in fifty. He would no. be up in the top fifty. I no. think he would you be up in think so. that man. That's got a slap in the water. face right there. I'm saying, come, like, come on, that would be up there. Good. Do any top? Come on. Ron he, McKnight he's been on Martin. He been on yeah. Sister Sister. He's a he's a great he, actor. He might be a great <laughs> he might be a great feeling for actors. But Brian McKnight is not coming up in no top fifty RB artists ever. You can name 50. I don't know about that yes, one. Yes, I, I can name I can name 50. 50. 50. Easy. Wait, 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 wait! We're gonna have to break this down like we did, like with the with the two with the two thousand and twenty twenties. So, it is a lot of people. Are we talking about <laughs> of all time, or are we talking about like of a of certain all, time period? Of all time, Ron McKnight, still, Ron McKnight is up. not coming up in no top fifty. R and B. Mm. Yes. I don't know, man. I don't know about oh, that nice. one, man. He be in the forties. In I would 40s, think I'll put him in the 30s. yeah I'll put him in the 40s at least 40s maybe like because I'm saying this dude got the songs I'm saying dude like, he got anytime the is a like, moment anytime some, comes on everybody's gonna be singing that and, and I'm saying he like white folk be singing this man <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, like, maybe that's just my that maybe listen that's just maybe just my unpopular opinion not to I mention definitely wouldn't put him like my 50 favorite like nah yeah like, not in my 50 favorite but I'm favorite, saying I mean, if, if there's a list. I know he's going to make a list, but I do feel like if Arm, if even if BET did the list, they were going to put him up there. Male artists, they would put Brian and Matt up there. They going to put him up. I don't know, but see Dude. that, but that that's the only reason why. That's the reason why I, I'm thinking like as far as like as far as like Brian McKnight. I just don't think Brian McKnight is he like I said he to me he's just that play he's just that R and B artist like Tim Duncan is that player where he can 
he can score. Like you put him on the track, he gonna he gonna he gonna go. He gonna do his thing. But he just he might be as far as his style of singing and everything. He's just a little. He might be a little bland. Mm. Wow. That's all. That's he all I'm bland. saying. It's a lot of bland. Listen, listen, uh, man. He, he, he bland. has more, he has That's... way more success than I have as far as like you know entertainment. Hey, I'm just saying, just he, at, from a if critic go, standpoint. If you, I'm saying, but if you go like success though, that's a, that was a nice word you said, like success. As far as like how Every many success. of these male, how many like R and B artists do you know has had more success than the songs that he's had? Like as far as like how much play they get, how much how iconic the songs mm-hmm. are, because the songs that he was naming like. All you gotta do is think about it real hard, and then it's like, oh yeah. I right, so let me you hear you, it. Let, that's it. Can I? All right, so let's ask this question: then. Is Brian McKnight better than Joe? Mm, that's a stretch. Joe from Joe No, no, wow. Joe, Joe. Joe. That's a stretch. That's, we talking stretch. about Joe. <laughs> they, they, they're both in the same class, right? Am I? Am I, am I not Dude, tripping, Joe, Joe? That's why they, Fifty they, went they, to Joe for the for the for the for the, for the theme song for Power. But I, so, so you're saying yes? He, that he saying yes, Joe is better than, than Brian McKnight. In my, no? in my opinion, yes, I think Joe is better than Brian McKnight. But I'm still saying that Brian McKnight would still be up in. He would be in at least in the top fifty as far as R and B. That's series. what I'm saying. Like, all right, let me give you another one. Right. Is and I'm just I'm just speaking like as far as like skill set. Uh, I'm not nah, I'm not going to name that person. I'm gonna, let me see if I can find somebody that's more comparable than uh, in, in in Brian McKnight's uh, category. Um. All right, is he better than Anthony Hamilton? Mm, I but. I mean, I like Anthony Hamilton. I actually got Anthony Hamilton on the playlist. But I'm saying, Brian McKnight still got this song. I do feel like he does. I, I will say this. As far as, like, I do yeah, feel I, like his voice does tailor to women. Like, I'm not, it's not like, I do feel like women for real, for real, like, mm-hmm. like uh, Brian. Give me somebody. Give me somebody. To answer, to answer your question, nah, he, Anthony Hamilton ain't better than Brian McKnight. Get, the, get out of here. You probably. I will, but Anthony Hamilton ain't better than Brian McKnight. He not he, so you said Anthony Hamilton is not better than Brian McKnight. Not in my book. State your case then. Let, I want I want to hear this. I want to hear this, dude. Vocally, vocally, vocally. Nah, not voc. Nah, nah, not vocally. I'm sorry. Are you crazy? I'm sorry, Anthony Hamilton whoa, is not whoa, better than whoa, Brian whoa. McKnight vocally. I feel no. like it's more. I don't feel like one. Is clearly, on me, I don't feel like one is clearly better than the other. I feel I, like. They nah. both can sing and they both have their own kind of they, all, they the, both have their own sound. Yeah, let's look at the hits. Let's look at the hits. The hits, yeah. okay. Like I don't know hits. how many people be singing. I don't know how many people be hitting that little riff every single time they hear that song. Like Charlene an Anthony Hamilton song that has that kind of Charlene. You can say Charlene all you want Char- to. Charlene I mean, will Char- go. Charlene, Charlene got it. Like, what's it called? Anytime. I feel like Ooh is a is a more well song. Like, Anytime. Uh, Anytime. Like, I mean, listen, that's one. That's to me. Like he he got he to me for him he got two, and one and, nah, and he got and more them, than two. He got more than me, two. I'm sorry. Me, what other ones? Dude, you have to just pull out some. You have to pull out some. Uh, pull out some albums. I'm sorry. I, I just I just went over like I just went over like his whole like top list of songs. Watch. And none of them songs better than the Anthony Hamilton, bro. None of them songs better than the, not one of them. Okay. So I, I, I'm, I disagree so, with I'm, that. I can disagree with that one. So you give me somebody. You give me somebody else that's better, that that Brian McKnight is better than. Since you since you want to talk crazy about Anthony Hamilton, you wow. Case. And they 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 not they not even they not even they not even inviting Anthony Hamilton. I mean Brian McKnight to no verses. Yeah, verses, with verses don't mean that he's not. He big. could definitely have a verses with Joe. Think, if, Joe would kill. Joe would kill it. Joe would kill it. I'm Joe, sorry. Yeah, on, Joe would kill I, it. Joe would I, kill it. No, I'm sorry. I would give that to Joe. Joe is Joe's the man. But did I, you just no, name no case? disrespect? To, no disrespect. Did you yeah. Say, did you say case? Come on. I did say bro. case. You talking about? Case. You not? I'm talking about somebody that's comparable to Brian McKnight. Least, case don't really have that many albums that you like. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Though, though, to me, still those two songs, those two songs that I know that Case has, to me, they better than any Brian McKnight song. That's my opinion. But. That's just your opinion. 
you know, but that, you know what I'm saying, like that right there, because to me, I, I don't know, they just get it, them songs get annoying to me. Not, they not, do, I mean, they get annoying for sure, bro. Them Brian McKnight songs get annoying, man. That's I mean, of course they do. He be he be riffing and running on everything. But I'm yeah. saying, he's like, a runner. He's a runner. He's a track star. I'm saying, but they, but it do it do numbers. Dude has it. Do has the songs, Last man. Cry, crazy love. Back at one. Love, these these, these love, songs are not ringing love, bells, bro. Love, crazy All right, well, love, love, my life, love which is a bells. remake. I, think. I know. Back at one, ring, ring bells. Yeah, of course. Back at one. That's 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 a. I mean, yeah, we're gonna keep on going back to one. We're gonna keep on going back to that one song. Time. The dude, I'm saying, if I go to uh, Anthony Hamilton's top joints, mm-hmm. don't get it twisted because I, I bump, I bump Anthony. Hamilton. I will listen to Anthony Hamilton. All, all, all Anthony Hamilton songs ringing bells. Just yeah, keep it a G. Keep it a G. They all, they all, they everybody knows these songs. Brian McKnight, not so much. Just saying. That's just your opinion, man. Oh, no, no, no. What I just said was straight facts. That song. was your opinion. No, 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 no. That's a fact. That's so. If Brian McKnight, that's a fact. If Brian McKnight's songs don't ring bells to to, to his listeners, to listeners that's just listening to him. Every listen, I'm so much. So you know, so you know, you know people. So you got cult fo- cult followings, and then you have you you have just a general statement. Like like if there are some people, right? That 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 follow music that may not like it, but they be like, oh yo, alright, like yo, that song I heard that song before and I like it. You know what I mean? Like Brian McKnight they ain't got too many of those. Mm, that's right. like that's that's like that's like that's like um, all right. So in hip hop, Nas album Illmatic yeah. is probably considered one of the great one of the greatest albums ever created, right? Mm. Now it's so not a lot a lot of people that don't. It's a lot of people out there that may not, not like Nas. Right, but they know his songs. That ain't happening with Brian McKnight. Not all of those songs you just we just mentioned. But that not it's not happening. I'm sorry. I could I think I think I honestly say that that's not happening. No, nah. we can't all go. You would have to you would have to take a poll on that one. I'm sorry. This is that's just coming from. I've, t- I've taken a poll. I'm just ta- you I'm haven't taken a poll. poll. You t- not not a poll. Not your poll. You would have to take a poll from the general from it's, general public. It's true. I, I do think Brian McKnight is has definitely crossed over more like more into more like cultures than just ours as far as like i do feel like his songs is definitely like when i be telling you like everybody be bumping his stuff like i for real feel like the kind of sound he has for real do be reaching over beyond just like what what we listen to because whenever i tell like whenever i speak with white people it's just keeping it transparent here. like and i when i mentioned anthony hamilton they be like, uh, Ooh. uh, uh. But if I say Brian McKnight, like, oh yeah, we we all know. <laughs> I'm saying like, they be know. But I still think don't trust. I think Anthony Hamilton is better than all day. But I do think Brian McKnight, as far as what has been done between the two, what Brian McKnight has done is definitely up there. As like, yeah, he's that's not what, like that. That's because. That's, if that if that's a true statement, that's because Anthony Hamilton has soul, a lot of soul. Anthony Hamilton, Anthony Hamilton does have soul. Now he if you has talking a lot about, of soul. If you talking Ryan about as as albums, no, yeah, Ryan Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Hamilton is a is, in my book. Anthony Hamilton is a soul singer, and if you're talking about albums, and that's not really a fair comparison. It's albums, not. it's not. You're right. It's not album it's not. wise. I would give it to Anthony Hamilton. But you said that Brian McKnight is a better singer and a better artist than him. Uh, album wise, yes, S- hit singles. I would get Brian McKnight got some singles, man. Bro, all right, all right, hits. okay, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. Since, since you want to talk, oh, since you want to talk crazy about, about 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 Anthony Hamilton, let's let's, let's, let's first of all, first of all, let's 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 go down the list. Right, stop 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 playing with my boy, dog. Like for real, I, you can't do that. You got Charlene. Point of no point of, point of it all. He wrote, he wrote, um, he wrote the song for, um, hold on, I'm about to, about to show you the song right now. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Because I just found this out not too long ago. Uh, he wrote, You Know What's Up by, for Darnell Jones. Okay, but. So, Brian uh, McKnight is, is known for his, 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 
it's Hold a songwriting up. too. Hold up, let me finish going down the list, bro. Cause you try, you trying to play the homie. You trying to play the homie. I ain't even done. Coming where I'm from. Mama New Love. What else we got on here? Cornbread fish and collard greens. Cornbread fish and collard greens. That dog. It's soul music, bro. Okay. Soul music. Anybody listen to this podcast is going to know what these songs are. Them songs that just listen to Brian McKnight, you they don't listen, they don't know them songs. They don't know them songs. That's Anthony your Hamilton opinion. Is two, he is on Tupac's uh, Oh yeah. Mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He they know they know where to go to get man. that soul music. He does kill that song. Yeah, but see, you know, that. but but all I'm saying is to end this conversation, we're we gonna we're gonna move on to my boy Big Crit. All I'm saying is Brian McKnight and Tim Duncan. Comparison, man. That's all I'm saying. Oh, all right, but I'm, the reason why it's not a fair. This is why. This is. I just want to say this right quick. Tim Duncan is the best, probably the best power forward to play. I'm talking about Tim Duncan like that, man. Walk and I'm saying man. you're only and you're saying Brian McKnight is like over here. Exactly. <laughs> not, no, 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 no. All right. So the, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that all I'm just saying this is like. I'm not disrespecting Tim Duncan. All I'm saying he is, is that he's disrespecting Tim Duncan it's, like he's like disrespecting he, Brian McKnight. He's overshadowing the why, them. The reason why I think that people don't mention Tim Duncan is because he just doesn't have a lot of style in his game. Mm. I, and the same thing with, with, with Brian McKnight. I think the reason why people don't really, you know, that he's not really like regarded as one of the greatest, it's because that not because he can't sing, it's because his style to me is just not a lot of style over there. It's just but I'm you know. saying, well, I think what we're saying is he is regarded as one of. I think exactly. that's a difference. In what he, you know what? That, that one. We that think one. he is regarded pretty yeah. highly. We would have to open that up to the polls, not to the I polls of, of what Clinton, what Clinton I, wants to, to describe on this on this podcast. So people would have to actually vote on that and determine how what they feel about Brian McKnight. Look, y'all Granted, really y'all ain't got to y'all, y'all know the deal. That Granted, deal. Anthony right. Hamilton, yes, he's a soul singer. Yes, Anthony Hamilton I, is in my playlist. I, I'll, agree, I'll admit that. But we talk about Brian McKnight. If you, if you, if those who are not really aware about Brian McKnight, Brian McKnight is was doing this thing before Anthony Hamilton came on the scene. So Brian McKnight has earned his, you know, his roots into the game as far as an artist and R and B artist, and he's regarded as a, as a. I mean, he's. Also known for his songwriting too. I'm not, listen, FYI. I'm not saying I'm but, not saying that he's but, not good. But because he's just, got, he's just a little bit because Tino feels like he he vibes and, and associates more with Anthony Hamilton, he wants to discredit Brian McNaught, nah, which I think I, I, which, listen, which in this podcast is wrong, wrong, which I'm, I'm not all saying I'm not saying Exactly. He'll rip it like if if he if he ain't feeling it. He's a runner and he's a track star. He's a runner and but I'm, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because here, here's what here's what Trim likes to do. Trim likes to think I'm get. He thinks I'm ganging up on a person. Tino's a bully. And, and, and this Tino whole time, is a bully. Whoever this watches this, Tino is a bully. Listen, this whole time I said that he can sing. Did I not say that? Well, he can go, sing. Man. He just don't got a lot of flavor. He don't have. He ain't got the AI crossover. He just, you know, he got he got the hook. Hey, he got, I, he who, got, he, AI, who is AI and R and B? Yeah, who's who, AI who, and R and B? Who is that? Who um, is that? Man, who is, who is AI and R and B? That's a great question, man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research on that because you know, be Joe? If, if you, it be Joe? If, you had, if you had to be the no no no, it won't be Joe because if you the AI, <laughs> here's, here's the thing. If you the AI R and B, that means you had you had to you had you know what? I'm gonna you know who I'm gonna say Cisco. What? Mm, I'm, here's, here's the reason why I say that. Here's the reason why I say that. And I'm, I'm, I, just, I just had I just had to come mm. on top of my head. Here's why I'm gonna say that though. Maybe and maybe Jodeci. Maybe maybe Jojo. Maybe maybe uh Casey from Jodeci. I'm gonna say that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because in order for you to be an AI, uh, like a uh, AI of R&B, you had to you had to be breaking some rules. Maybe maybe R, R. Kelly is. You know, he could be, but you had to be breaking some rules. You had to be really good at your game, like the way you sing. He put oh, yeah. a lot of rules. You know what? We, we, we ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go yeah, he there. He put it up there, man. But, 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 you know, Kate, Kate, Casey might be it. You know, you had to be like the bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how, you know how they looked at AI, but he was still nice at it. You know what I mean? But, but, you know, just off the top of my head, so I, I, I have to do some research on that. 
Hey, but, but, but check, but one, 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 I just want this is my last one. We can move on. I know one thing. Brian and I got them Grammys though, but we ain't go. But we know it. We know where that goes in this. We know where that goes in this. I had to just oh, drop yeah. it in there. <laughs> yeah. I think Vanilla Ice got one too. Yeah. I think Vanilla Ice got one too. <laughs> Hammer got a Hammer got a gang of them. Hammer got a gang of them. But one, one more compar- comparison before we go. Before we What's get up? to Crick, is he better than John Legend? See, that was who I was thinking of. That was John Legend. Was. Nah, see, now that's a that's a fair comparison, but no, I would give. I think John. I probably give it to John, John Legend on that one. I John Legend, I would probably give it to. I'm not a fan of either one, but we'll move on. Go ahead. Um, you know, I, I'm just, just not a fan of the piano thing. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's, that's what it what is. It is that's what it now. is. It's the piano thing. It probably you ain't seen piano. Anthony Hamilton behind no piano banging out no piano, no stuff you know, like that. But you seen Brian McKnight and think, John Legend banging out piano, I piano. Think, I think that's maybe what it is. That's I, what I, it I is. Think, it's the ballad. You're, you're not a ballad guy. 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 I think that's what it is. I think. But he ain't better than no D'Angelo. He ain't better than no D'Angelo. I'm sorry. D'Angelo is a better than D'Angelo. Oh, no, no. Yeah. D'Angelo go go out to the school for Prince. D'Angelo come to school for Prince, buddy. D'Angelo come to the school for Prince. But, you know, piano. But we talking about piano. You know, that's all I'm saying. But anyway. Yeah. We maybe maybe one day we'll get into like some some R and B because I I got some heavy hitters I, I think bad, bad, bad. you know some people that I think that that we're going to but anyway. Oh.